Hello, Phantom Middle School remote learners. Ms. Walters here. And this final video on our how to video page is going to be how to check books out from Cloud Library. Cloud Library is a collection of ebooks and audiobooks that we have available to us through our Harrington Library Consortium services. Okay, now what you'll need in order to log into this is you will need your library card number as well as your four digit pen. Um, you should have received an email already that has that information. So check your amaisd.net account first. And if you don't have it, feel free to email me. You see my screen in front of you. For those of you who have not ever met me, I am Miss Walters. If you'll look at the homepage, and if you don't know how to get to this point, go back and watch some other videos on this page because it walks you through the steps to get to the Phantom Middle School Library page. But down here on the right hand side where it introduces me, okay, it says email me. That will send me an email directly. When you email me, let me know your name, your grade level, and your teacher, um, and I can send you the information via email for you to log on. Okay, now we're going to take you to the ebook cloud library. It's under e reading resources. You see these tabs at the top. You're going to be going to e reading resources. My intention is to purchase some e resources for us, some ebooks. And when I do so, I will update and add those to this page. Now, this is just a collection of a lot of different ebooks that you can access while you're at home. All right, so there's one for Epic. You join the class, you can get access through Epic. Project Gutenberg is free access. So there are several ebooks out there. The one we're going to talk about specifically is this one Harrington Library Consortium Cloud Library. You're going to click it, okay? And when you access it, there's going to be this first page here. All right, you're going to go through these steps. Feel free to rewind this video as much as you need to and walk through it while you're watching the video. Okay, right over here is select the country, United States, select your state, Texas, and then find your local library. You are going to find this one that says Harrington Library Consortium. Wait for the will of doom. Hmm. And you're going to see this page, Harrington Library Consortium. All right. Now, before you do anything, you're going to need to log in. There is a translator here. Of course, you're listening to this video in English. It probably doesn't apply to you. Log in. This is your library card number. Again, that's the one that if you don't have it, you're going to email Ms. Walters and ask, and I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to go ahead and put my information in so that you can see how to use this. All right. Even if you don't physically have your library card anymore, when you first were started in Emerald Independent School District, you were given a library number. And so you should be able just to email me that information and I can send it back to you. So you're going to put in your library card number. There is a four digit pen and then you're going to log in. It's going to ask if you accept, you read just like anything else, the acceptable um, use policy that we do at school, terms of use, privacy policy. It's important to read the privacy policy to make sure that the website you're using is not going to give out your personal information. All right. And so you may want to go, you want to go ahead and read these and then you're going to accept. I've read them already, obviously, so I'm going to accept them. Once you do that, it will pull up any books. If you've already got books checked out, they'll come up under your buy books. Over here, we're going to talk about filters because you may want ebooks, audiobooks, and you may want all of them. Okay. So, right over here under filters is where you go in and you tell it you want all titles or you want available now. So, if you only want to look at books that you can actually read now, then you want to change that to say view available now. This one's cool too. Suggestions for the library. Just like on our library homepage, you can suggest a book to be added to the collection. You can do that as well for Emerald Public Li or the Cloud Library and suggest something be added. 
all right? So for right now, I'm going to say available now because I want something I can read right now. And let's say that I don't want audiobooks because I don't have any speakers to attach to my phone or whatever, and I just want to search for ebooks. I'm going to do that. I'm going to X out and it will reset it for me and it will only re uh, show me the results um, based on that filtering criteria. By the way, if you want to read books on your phone, you can do so. I have this app on my phone, and anytime I'm waiting in line somewhere, um, I pull up my cloud library and I read while I'm waiting. It's a great thing to do. So first and foremost, here are your Battle of the Book recommendations for 2020 and 2021. I noticed that at Fannin right now, only fifth and sixth, uh, sixth grade does Battle of the Books. That does not mean that you shouldn't read some of these, though, like this one. This is one that I actually recommended physically in the library this time. It wasn't me. And so if I want to read, it wasn't me, I'm going to click on it. And it says right now, borrow limit reach, which means Miss Walters already has too many books checked out. She can't check out another one yet. So if I want to borrow this book right now, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go into my books and I'm going to have to return one of the books I currently have. Oh my goodness, how should I choose? I have audiobooks and an ebook checked out. Okay, so I'm going to return this so that you can see what it looks like on your screen when you return it. I'm going to return, no, I think I'm going to return this one. I've already listened to it. It's got a great narrator, by the way, the Bartimaeus trilogy. If you want a good narrator, the one who narrates this book is really good and I recommend it. So now that I've returned one book, I should be able to go back and to find that book that I wanted and to download that book that I wanted. By the way, you can go in here and put down your favorite books, okay? I'm gonna go back to the featured tab, tab which is where I was earlier. But the Browse tab is where you go in and tell it specifically what types of books you want. So again, let's say that I wanted to check this book out. This is, it wasn't me. It's going to tell me to borrow. Now, if there are too many users already reading this book, it'll tell you that you can place a hold. And when that person has turned the book in electronically, then it will show up as a book available for you to read. So if I say I want to borrow it, I just click borrow. And then I can immediately start to read or I can continue to browse. All right. Over here on browse, if this is where you might want to go in and tell it, these are my favorite things. And so in fiction, maybe my favorite types of fiction books are action adventure. Um, maybe I want to read some diverse texts. So I'm going to go into African American. Asian American. Maybe I really like books like The Hunger Games and I want to go and read some more dystopian type books. All right. Also, you can go into fiction. You can view nonfiction. Um, this is what I would recommend is that you go into teens fiction, kids fiction. All right. Teens fiction is going to have a little bit more mature content. So you need to keep that in mind. If you're not at that place um, where you're ready to read mature content, you might want to stay over in kids fiction. Okay. Most of what you guys are going to want to read, though, would be in teens fiction or teens nonfiction. All right. Now, back on that featured page, which is the home page for the cloud library, it breaks it down into the different age categories for you. All right, so you can tell it here. I specifically want to look at certain books. So back to this home page where it has a Black Lives Matter reading list. That's some diverse text. Um, juvenile nonfiction. All right, so if you prefer nonfiction, this is where you would have biographies and historical narratives, that type of thing. This is the young adult. Okay, juvenile fiction. So again, these are just recommendations based on age group on that home page. All right. Maybe you guys like Big Nate. It's kind of a fun read. Um, all right. 
Let me think, what else do I wanna tell you? Again, after a certain amount of time, it will automatically turn your books back in. So when I go into my books, it will tell me how much longer I have to read them. So like this book I checked out, this ebook, it expires in 11 days. This audio book that I checked out, it expires in eight days. And so it'll tell you how much longer you have. It also tells you over here, these are the books that you placed on hold and it'll tell you how many more days you have until those become available to you. Okay, and I think that about covers uh, Cloud Library. Again, feel free to email me if you have any questions and I'll be to help, able to help you anyway, even if that means setting up a Google Meet um, or a discussion through Canvas, we can talk that way as well. All right, I wish you well, friends.